on this episode of Kim's Rude Awakenings, the Morgan McKenzie's, a family who loves spending money. I do tend to shop a little bit, tiny bit. But can't keep track of anything they own. My name is Brian and I'm a clutter bug. And where every day seems like the nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> Mr. Christmas, what's with the nativity scene still up? Kim Woodburn and Mike Shalou have got to set this family straight. That's a dope! Britain's Queen of Clean, Kim Woodburn, is traveling the world with lifestyle expert Mike Shalou for a very special assignment. Their mission, to identify, confront, and rehabilitate messy, disorganized Canadian families and bring pride back into their homes. This time, Kim and Mike are meeting the Morgan McKenzie family, comprising Mom Kelly, son Doug, daughter Kendra, and youngest son Brian. The Morgan McKenzie's moved into this majestic heritage house four years ago. But over time, it's become a bulging storage container of junk for a family of orders. There's just so much random stuff that like, we don't know what it is or where it goes or what to do with it. Dollar store bargains litter the home, while other shopping sits unopened. Suitcases never get unpacked, and some items have been stored in cardboard for years. I still have unpacked boxes from when I moved here. Kelly's charity work and busy job as a hearing specialist make cleaning the lowest priority for her and her kids. Get rid of that, please. Why do I do that? It's broken. Throw it out. But now Kendra is heading to university, and Doug is also leaving home. I know you're planning on moving back out, and you're going to leave me with this disaster when you go somewhere. Time is running out to get this house sorted. Need a hand, Kendra? No. <laughs> But this whole family needs to learn to let go of stuff, organize what they have, and stop buying more. We shove things away in effort to tidy instead of getting rid of things or bring in things that aren't really necessary. The Morgan McKenzie's big issue? Everything comes into this house, but nothing ever goes out. It's exhausting. It's frustrating. It's depressing. Kim and Mike are on their way to fix the Morgan McKenzie's ever-growing mass of mess. They're going to do it with a very rude awakening. Good morning, Morgan McKenzie's. We hear you're a bunch of hoarders. Everything's coming in. Nothing ever goes out. Enough is enough, Morgan McKenzie's. This is your rude awakening. I've Let's seen go. that Christmas tree thrown out with, no, with the lights on. I've seen it all now. Okay, so, so, how old is that? I don't get it. Morgan McKenzie's, where are... Here oh, they are. Here they here are. are. I have seen some things in my life. I have never seen a Christmas tree thrown away with the lights on it. Why did you throw decent lights out? Because you were too lazy. lazy. Oh, we've got a right bunch here. Who's going somewhere? Mm. No one knows are mine. But they're full. But you're going but somewhere, you're going aren't somewhere. you? No, I just haven't unpacked them. How long? When did you come back from wherever you went? It's been a couple months. Months? What about the dirty washing in there stinking away? Don't even answer. <laughs> all right. Don't even answer. All right. How did all this happen? Because wherever we look... It's just... Who's responsible for all this untidiness and, and everything everywhere? All of us. But you don't throw anything out, do you? Not much. I can tell. I'm glad we've come because if you don't... You know, in six months' time, I won't be to get in the house at all, lovies. You buy, you don't throw out. Christmas ornaments. It's a few months past Christmas. Well, I did ask Doug to take on the task of putting them back into storage, and I decided this time that I wasn't going to go and do it for them, so they still sit. You, young man, please. You're going to box it and put it where your mother keeps it, aren't you? Kim, there's a bed. Do you know what I thought it was a wall? There it sits, because I don't know what to do with it. Make a decision and do it now, or let's get rid, dear, please. You ready for this one? There's Christmas ornaments. There's a nativity scene. Still out. Well, all the family's the same, dear. <laughs> They're all crackers. All this has got to be clear before you go. Because it's not fair for your mum to have to do this when you, her grown son goes away. Well, she wouldn't do it. I... No, you have, have to, to help here. your mum. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say about this? Welcome to my room. Don't be ridiculous. This is no room. It's a pigsty. What is all this? Clothes. Dollar store. Stupid stuff that I don't need. 
I'm a big fan, but you can't buy everything in the dollar store. Money burns a hole in my pocket. If you're a bit tempted, don't go out with money in your pocket, son. Mm -hmm. This is a disgrace. You have to understand. This is the worst room. Oh, now look here, now look. That's a dump! There's an ocean. A little. A little. There's no hope, is the mic. For her? She's in Ruination Avenue, isn't no, she? No, I like organizing. I like... <laughs> Please. You, you like, like organized? No, but I like things organized. This is so this is organized chaos. No, it's not. You're going to university and you gotta get your things packed so you can get out of here properly. So pretty. So mucky. This constant hoarding has gotta to come to an end. Disgraceful. Kim and Mike need to figure out a plan of action. They're never going to be able to downsize with all the stuff that comes into this house. What are you gonna do? I have to teach this family. That when things come in, things gotta go out. Oh, I hope you do. What are you gonna do? She is going to unpack those suitcases. Oh, gross. And that boy is gonna put those Christmas decorations away. It's Christmas 12 months a year here. Mind you, I'll tell you this now. I like Christmas. Mm, me too, I you love know, Christmas it. Christmas trees, festivities. It's great. And also, my dear, mistletoe. Hmm? Mistletoe, mistletoe. That's not mistletoe. We can pretend, can't we? Right now, everyone is guilty of overloading the house. For all of us, it's a little bit of an issue letting go of items. Yes, I would describe myself as a pack rat. This is the uh, first welding job I ever did. I don't know Holding on to junk will never get this house clean. It's time for the switch. What we want to do is separate you into teams. We have the people that are leaving the house, Kendra and Doug. Hello. Switch. We've got Kelly and Brian who are staying. Two teams, Doug and Kendra. Take a box. You go into Brian's room. And collect everything that is junk. And you two are going to go into Kendra's room. And you're going to do the same. We are giving you exactly one minute to bring all that junk right back here. Ready, set, and go. With the clock ticking, can Kim and Mike really kickstart this?